all right hey good evening back here at the camper um got all my uh chores i wanted to get done today up in the woods and now we are going to chase some predators um i went and checked the cards and had quite a bit um activity up there on the pipeline um quite a few coyotes um some really really big coyotes actually so i've got my ar down here that we just uh just purchased a couple weeks ago um got an aftermarket light here we'll talk about um as well as the night vision scope um we'll go over what all i have on my setup here and then we're going to get in the woods so all right we'll see you let's get going all right so what we're shooting here tonight is the ruger ar 556 npr uh 223556 semi-automatic 30 round with an 18 inch barrel uh, the scope we're running is the sight mark um, wrath hd series it's a 4x32x50 digital day and night rifle scope. And when we're not looking through the scope, we're going to be looking through our AGM uh, Global Vision uh, Thermal Monocular. It is the um, TM15-384 model. We did upgrade our IR light and we are running the Coyote Cannon um, by Sniper Hog Lights. Our shooting tripod is going to be the Bog death grip precision tripod highly recommended so far it's been uh, been great now in this clip here you can see we're using our uh, thermal monocular and you can see how clear the cows pop out uh, on this hillside here now on this first set i walked in about a quarter mile um, found a good spot that was uh, pretty open had a pond um, down underneath and i ended up just setting the call right on top of the fence post. So after about 10 minutes of having the call going, I ended up having an owl come over and perch up in the tree right above my head um, to check out what was going on. I ended up watching him the whole time in my thermal, and as he flew away, I realized that I didn't have it hit on record. So after about 25 minutes, I decided to go ahead and roll on to the next spot. Now this next spot ended up being loaded with deer when I first got there, but as soon as I turned the call on, um, all of them pretty much left the field but two or three. Now I did end up seeing something here at this spot, but it was in uh, tall grass and I couldn't quite make out what it was. I'm going to assume it was a raccoon. Alright, so then the last setup of the night is when all the fun happened. Now as this cat come in, I'm not going to lie, it caught me off guard, so it wasn't quite ready. Um, so as I turned and got the gun around, um, thinking at first it was a coyote, um, I'm playing with the focus, trying to get everything adjusted right, and I just, as you can see from the video, didn't get the, uh, the focus in too good. But you can see, uh, obviously it was a cat, and here in Ohio, um, we do not have a season yet for bobcats, can't trap them, can't hunt them. So I unfortunately just got to watch this guy um, hang out there for a while and he ends up working his way back to the fence row. <laughs> 